Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Jamila aka Gem for short. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using Emerge products, which is a new brand that I recently found at my local Target store. I've been really excited to try these products and I've been watching them on the shelf for a couple of months. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this bomb wash and go, keep watching. Okay guys, so this is a six day old wash and go. Super dry. It's very itchy. So I usually wash my hair every five days. So I don't know. My scalp for the last two days has been telling me that it's time. I went and wet my hair off camera because it was taking too long. So I'm going to be using the Emerge It's Not Happening Sulfate Free Shampoo. And this is what the bottle looks like. For this line, I am in love with the packaging. It is very pretty. Very clean, very simple. The colors pop. I really do like the packaging. So you're supposed to use this on soaking wet hair. So I went already wet my hair. I'm just gonna show you guys how it lathers up. This is for moisture rich, frizz free, curl definition. There's no sulfates, parabens, phthalates, or silicones, which is awesome and it is cleansing and detangling and it's infused with almond milk. This is the consistency. So I oh, almost spilled it, pretty runny. Um, so I'm just gonna put on the perimeter, between sections. Wow, it is very runny. Just gonna start off with a little bit. I don't know how much it's gonna lather. I don't wanna have too much since I'm not actually in the sink. But it smells really good. Okay, so it lathered up pretty good. I can only imagine that if I actually do it in the sink, it'll be a lot better. I will be right back. Okay, so one thing I just learned when I went to wash out the shampoo that you saw me put in is that I didn't need so much shampoo in my hair. When I went in there and shampooed again, I just used one squeeze and my whole entire head was able to lather with that. So that's a really good um, point about it. So that's a big bottle and it's really inexpensive. Um, so if I could shampoo my whole head and lather the whole entire thing with just one pump of the shampoo, that's that's a pretty good deal. That'll last you a long time. I'm a little afraid though. It feels different. And that might be just because I literally just got my hair highlighted the other day. So this might just be this might just be how it feels now. I'm not entirely sure. Whatever, anyways, we'll figure that out. Um, oh, this, I feel like this is gonna be a struggle to detangle, but if this deep conditioner does what I think it's about to do, we gonna be lit. This is the Emerge Back to Life Hair Mask for coily and curly textures. Um, this is a deep condition in Revive. It doesn't really smell like much, it just smells clean. Yeah, it's, it's just like a clean scent. It's nothing crazy. I don't know. I just feel like I need a lot. It feels like... I don't know. It feels like it's trying to be matted, but it's not. It's really hard to explain. I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> um, I don't think it's the product. I honestly think my hair has just changed a little bit. So last time I got my hair highlighted, I followed up when I washed it with Olaplex. I don't have any right now, so I guess I'm gonna have to go to like a Sephora run or an Ulta run or whatever. So I feel like I used a lot of product and like I said, I'm a little bit afraid 
to detangle my hair, so that's why. So, I think it's thoroughly saturated. My hair is starting to feel better. I guess it's absorbing the product, which is good. So I'm just gonna go through this again and add some more in there. My hair is starting to feel softer and more manageable because it was starting to feel matted. And last time that happened, it took my mom three hours to detangle my hair. I am gonna let this sit in my hair for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back. I'm actually gonna go sit under my hooded dryer so that it can penetrate better. It doesn't say that you have to do that, but I just feel like my hair probably has been through a lot this week and I wanna just make sure that it's getting the most love <laughs> that it possibly can right now. Okay guys, so I'm gonna detangle this now. It feels a really moisturized. It doesn't feel like it's matted anymore. Um, I'm happy that that deep conditioner worked because I was very frightened. I didn't know what was about to happen. So I'm gonna be detangling with my, my Pattern Beauty brush. A lot of people ask me what kind of brush this is all the time, so I thought I would show you. But I really do like this one because it's similar to the Denman, but it's, it's really stable and it's stiff and my hair doesn't make the bristles bend and fold and all of that nonsense, so. So I am going to go and add water in the sink and detangle that way because I have a feeling that that will work better. My hair detangles a lot better underwater, especially if it has deep conditioner in it. So I will be right back. All right, so I was right. It was a lot easier to detangle in water. And overall my hair, it is different because I got highlights. Not to say that, you know, it's rough or anything like that, but I just have to get used to giving my hair a little bit more extra love. Um, it probably was dying of thirst. Um, I probably should have did a wash and go maybe after like day three or four, but I was stretching it because I was lazy. So I'm going to be going in next with this leave-in conditioner from Emerge. This is your main bestie leave-in conditioner for curly and coily textures. This is supposed to be nourishing and smoothing. looks like and I'm heavy-handed when it comes to leave-ins and pretty much everything because I want my hair to look smooth and defined but it smooths through the hair really nice smaller section just to make sure that I can get it on every single piece and this is the um, section of my hair that usually is the driest and the frizziest so I just want to make sure that I go in and you know work the product in make sure it gets on every strand and yeah, my curls are popping and that's with just the leave-in. So this is definitely promising. So leave-in is in. It is looking juicy. It feels good. So I'm gonna be finishing up this style with the Style Goals Gel for curly and coily textures. This is for definition and can This is for definition and control. So what it looks like this is like I don't know like gels for me are a must with my wash and go because I don't know I'd be turning it into some type of frizz bowl so this says apply to wet or damp hair to define curls apply in sections and rake through in the same direction so that's what we gonna do super simple this is the package love their packaging so I'm gonna be working in sections of four just to make sure every single part has product on it the 
the leave-in feels even better with the water. I feel like it's like activating. So apply this on soaking wet hair because this feels great. So the gel is a lot runnier than I thought it was going to be. Um, that honestly kind of surprised me. But let's see what kind of hold this is going to give. So I feel like this really is clumping the curls together. But they was already clumped together from the leave-in. So it looks pretty good. I honestly don't see a lot of frizz on it. So that means this is going to come out dope. However, I did put a lot of product. So I'm really unsure on how long it's going to take my hair to dry. But I am going to sit under the hooded dryer. Um, normally my hair can take anywhere from like 30 to an hour to dry. So we'll see. Um, but this looks promising. So I'm not mad at it. So these are the finished results. I really like it. Um, I do have some areas that are straighter than most, but I'm pretty sure that has to do with the fact that I just got my hair highlighted and I need to get like a Olaplex treatment or get that Curl Smith Bond Rehab Solve. And I think that will fix these little long blonde strands or whatever this is so let's just tuck that behind my ear for now but these products came out really good like i told you before there wasn't a lot of frizz after i applied the gel so that's really good um i don't know if you can see but the curls are super defined they feel moisturizing the price point of these products is really low ranging anywhere from 6.99 to 9.99 if you go to target so if you want to try these products, make sure you go grab it. They actually do sell off the shelf really, really fast. I was looking for the gel for about two months. So that's why I entered the giveaway because they had the gel and it went on sale. So that's probably why it was gone. As always, guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let me know what leave-in conditioners do you absolutely love?